Don't need to tell you what that song, that tune was. The girl from Ipanema there, playing beautifully, playing us in beautifully. Not very snook, not very snooker based. Uh, thanks to John um, L28, who has uh, got a 42 month streak of supporting us on Twitch. <laughs> not something I even bother asking. He's bringing in so little money uh, and so little attention that. Uh, from Ipanema. Um, welcome to Me 1 versus Me 2 Snooker. It's a continuing battle between Me 1, a family man versus Me 2. He's a, more of a renegade, sort of Russell Brand figure and uh, believes uh, the world is uh, against him and that he can see through the cracks to reality. Um, uh, to see his best at snooker and uh, so far the answer to that after 169 frames is they are equally the same it's 45 all the last game so it's 80 all the last game was 45 apiece um so you know there we go that's what that's about um and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Last week, very exciting frame was the honours were even. We don't play a spotted black in this uh, version of the game. You may be thinking of the uh, apocalyptic aberration that is two-player snooker. Uh, I see Mark Watson is taking the evil money from two-player snooker to do a podcast about it. Very glad they didn't ask me. I'd have told them where to go. Um. We should get on with the scores because obviously we're running a little bit late. I think it's good news for York City from what I've heard so far. The rumours I'm hearing from the crowd noise. Uh, so let's get straight on to that. But I should say that Luda Prick's family for some reason got in touch to say they were not happy with us naming the arena after him. So this week uh, and hopefully all subsequent weeks uh, this week is a centenarian is a Turkish journalist. Well, that's probably given it away for most of you. Travel writer and novelist. Sorry, I should try and break this more gently. Hifsi Topas. Hifsi Topas. His uh, old hips, Hifsi Topas has died. Uh, he was born um, yeah, 25th of January 1923. Died 26th of September 2023. 100 long years. Uh, old Hifsi. Hifsitopus, He was born in the Ottoman Empire and he died in Turkey. But he died in the same city he was born. How is that possible? How is it possible? He was died in the same place but in a different place. There, maybe there's two places with the same name. No, it was the same town. That's scary. Um, a little song. That's the Hifsitopus song there. Uh, no, I don't know how he died yet. We'll find out later. Uh, so let's get straight on to the uh, it was 807 football scores. Almost useless to you, but we'll give it a go. Uh, UA for Women's Nations League. Uh, Group A1, Netherlands 1, England 0. That's a, it's the second half has just started. Uh, Scotland 0. The Belgians can't get the old goal in the old onion bag ball in the onion bag it's nil Turkey versus Lithuania that's the result Luxembourg 1 Georgia 1 after 75 minutes lots of results there not interested in those Portugal 3 Norway 2 nearly a result but not quite Wales are 2 nil down at half time to Denmark what a fucking sh a shame there Wales with 2 nil down yes I am from Denmark I am 2 nil up uh, Espana is nil uh, Switzerland is nil uh, Hungary, nil. Uh, I'm Hungary. I'm Czechoslovakia. Republic, sorry, Republic of Ireland, four. They're winning, doing very well. Northern Ireland, nil. And Bay, nil. Then a load of results. Malta, nil. Moldova, nil. Don't know what the accents to those are. Then we go to the EFL Cup, third round. Bradford, Bradford City, nil. Middlesbrough, one. Uh, you are Exeter, nil. Luton, Luton, nil. I hope Luton lose. They're cunts. Uh, Ipswich, nil. Wolverhampton, two. Mansfield, one. Peterborough, nil. Port Vale nil, Sutton nil, Salford City nil, Burnley two, fantastic result so far for Burnley. That's a fantastic 808 result. And Manchester United, a good team, a nil, Crystal Palace nil. Into the Scottish League, Cup and Gilman nil, Hat of Midlothian nil. 
uh, into the uh, EFL Trophy. Northampton Town 2, Chelsea under 21 2, Bolton Wanderers 1, Manchester under 21 0, Manchester United. Barnsley 2, Manchester City under 21 0. That's a turn up, isn't it? Burton 2, if they take out the older players, they're just shit, isn't it? They're shit. Uh, Burton Album 2, Everton. Nil. Into the all-important National League. Oh, fuck sticks. Uh, I've just seen that York City score. My friend didn't tell. Uh, maybe he did. Uh, he did tell me. I didn't spot it. All right. AFL filed. One. Boreham Wood, nil. Oldershot, nil. South End, nil. Bromley, nil. Eastley, nil. Ebsleet, nil. Dorking, do the Dorking Dorks, nil. FC Halifax Town, nil. Dagenham and Redbridge, nil. Hartlepool, nil. Solihull Moors, doing very well, those old Moors. One. Kidderminster Harry, nil. Oldham Athletic. Oldham really picked up since they sat their manager. I think they're managerless still. And uh, when they beat York, they won the next game and the next game. Maidenhead United, nil. Ultraman, nil. Oxford City nil, Gateshead nil, Wealdston one, Woking nil, York City one in six minutes. Barnet one, Barnet very good team. Um, and oh, sorry, I got I'm just obsessed with looking at that. There's more to go. Uh, Rochdale nil, Chesterfield who are doing very well as well one. Uh, Scottish Challenge Cup Rangers B one, Alor Athletic nil. In the Lowland League, Albion Rovers P, Edinburgh University P. And then in the Crime Rue Premier, Carnarvon Town 1, Boyo. The New Saints are nil. A Cardiff MU nil. A Haverford West County nil. Connors K, no match nil. Colwyn Bay nil. Pennybont 1, Barry Town United nil. Pontypridd United nil. Newton nil. Now over to Ireland, the Irish Premiership. Top of the day to you, Cliftonville nil, Coleraine nil, Linfield one, Crusaders nil, Lofgal one nil, Lan nil. And then the Spanish La Liga, Maloca 20, Barcelona 30. A German DFB Cup, Javol, uh, SC Proven Munster nil, Bayern Munich 1. Uh, Italian Serie A, Juventus nil, Leggy nil, and then the French, uh, Ligue 1, Lille nil, Reims nil. Uh, I wonder if they find it funny they're so close to being called Rims, like rimming. Uh, and then the Swiss Super League, Zurich has won, and the Grasshoppers have nil. And that's all the 808 to 812. Fuck, you know, that took a long time, didn't it? I've almost lost the will to live. Just checking my emails now. It's going on so long. Right. Um, that can go down. Right, we're going to just get on with the, the, the What we're doing here is we're here for snooker. We're not here for talking. We're not here for uh, anything else. Uh, we're here to hear how York City are getting on. It's frame 170. It's going to be me too to break. But let's have a quick word with the players. See how they're feeling. Ahead of the game, it's hard to know to talk to. Let's talk first to me too, who I think can count it almost as a victory to come back for a draw last week. I do call count it as a victory to come back for a draw, Richard. Yeah, because I would look like I was going to lose, and I came back for a draw, and then therefore it is a victory. So one up to me, I say. Well, unfortunately not. It's uh, the honours even. No one gets a point for the last week's frame. In a way, last week's frame was a completely waste of time. Uh, well, you know, you can say that. I can't say that. I have to say, I like your new glasses, by the way. Thank you very much. They're uh, quite posh. Yeah, they look nice. Is it a bit like the uh, what you say, that when people get successful, they get slightly too big glasses? No, I think these are the right size. Mm. Yeah, you know, I have noticed it. Um, it does happen. Maybe it's happened to me, but, but the problem is you're not successful. But I've got the glasses. Let's talk to me one now, who I think played the better snooker last week. He played very well since we come back from the break, and that's the, uh, no pun intended there, the summer break rather than the break, a snooker break. Uh, let's see if me one has new glasses. I do have new glasses, Richard. Yes, they're quite posh ones. Uh, they indicate my success. Uh, good. They've got blue stuff on them, so if I'm at my computer like I am now, uh, it doesn't affect my eyesight. Is that right? Yeah, they still sold me some stuff to put in my eyes, though, as well. Mm. Do you think it's a con? Yeah, because you can get glasses for 20 quid in boots, and these cost, like, 
a lot more than that. And yeah, I think it's a con. Shall we talk about snooker? Nah. Do you think you're going to win? I hope I'm going to win. I see myself very much as um, a winner in this situation. Well, that was fascinating. What a fascinating insight. Let's go over to commentator one, commentator two in the Hifsy Toppers. Hifsy's Toppers. He's on Toppers the Cupboard. Uh, in the arena, let's see what they've got to say as we uh, go over to the old green board. Has it been even set up properly? Everything was done a bit quickly. Let's see. Yes, here we are, Richard. The green, old green board, pretty well set up. Quite messy there behind it. Um, no more so than usual, really. And uh, referee one, or th referee three, I think it is, has failed to put the cue ball in the correct place. But I'm sure me too can adjust his play for that. He's as professional. He's at the hockey. He's come up to the hockey. And he's gone in off straight away. He tried a slightly different break there. But it didn't work for him. And me one finds himself back in front again. This isn't a feeling he's experienced very much in recent months. A little bit last week. Ahead for a little while. Can me one? Oh, that was a good attempt there from me one, but it did not go into the old onion bag. So me two has a chance to claw back a point. There's one point clawed back. Can he claw back some more points? We will see. He's lined up for the brown here, and that's a gettable brown. It's not only gettable, it's a got brown. He's got it, and he's rolled the ball, cue ball on in a very expert fashion to give himself a chance of hitting another red. I don't think it can go in. He's going to try it. He thinks it can go in. No, he's... Oh, not only is he wrong, just as it looked like Me Too was sailing away with it, he's potted the black. Me Too gets a break for five. Uh, but he gives away seven fouls, seven, calculating, calculating, me one, 11, me two, five. So although me one has not potted a ball yet, finds himself with a significant score and a lead. Can he pot a ball here? Oh, I was going to say, of course he can, but he hasn't. Maybe his new glasses falling down off his face has got in his way. Me too. Oh, no. Ooh, nearly goes in off. That ball teetering on the edge like, a, uh, like the car, at the, lot, the bus at the end of the Italian job. Spoiler alert. Me one. Or is it me two? Me one. Me one. Oh, the camera of the table takes things away. Me two. He's going to try double. He's doubled, but he's gone in off. He got the red in, but another mistake. And me one gets another four points. This might be the highest score we've ever had with someone not ever potting a ball. It's 15, plays five, and me one with the impetus now. Oh, oh, and Jamily pots one, but goes in off as well, so he doesn't get the point for potting. And me two, this is a game of errors. Calculating, calculating, me one, 15, me two, calculating, nine. So... Me too, the only one with a bona fide points on the board. And there's another one. Beautiful pot from Me Too. He's definitely back on form when it comes to potting. Can he pot this long pink? Not like that. That was way off. But it's another point further forward. Now, surely Me Too has a chance. I would say Me One has a chance here. He's going to try a cannon. Oh, it hasn't worked. And uh, me one, struggling a little bit here. Me two, even though he's winning. Me two, not struggling. He's potted two balls in one shot. That's an amazing shot from me two. Can he pop this black into the centre pocket? Oh, he's just messed it up. So a break of two for me two. Me one. Very rare to get a break of two at this stage, of course. And that potting the yellow. Me one. Me too, sorry. Me too again, Pots. Me too is come out of the starting gates like a fiery chariot. Oh, and he's gone in off, off the pink. So he gets one, but gives away six. Uh, uh, this, uh, this is turning, this could be a question on a question of sport in a minute, the way this is going on. Um, because is it possible that me one will win this frame without potting a valid ball. We will see. 
Calculating, calculating, me, one, 21. Calculating, me, two, calculating, 30, tw oh, we've got 12 there from, I've got 13. I think I'm right. I think, uh, I think I'm right. Yeah, Andy McH has bowed to me. Who's this? Me, this is me one. Me one again, it jingles and jangles in the pocket, does not go down. Me one cannot get arrested here. Me two. Oh, nice try against the camber, but does not succeed. Me one, can he get arrested now? No. Me two. Oh, nice try. Oh, nice shot, nearly does it. Was that deliberate? Who knows? Me one surely is going to get a point here. He does. He's back. Oh, me one. I mean, he's in the lead, so I don't know why I'm worried, but he could clear the board from here. He's got the highest break of the match, I think, so far. He's got a break of six. Can he make it a break of seven? He can. Can he make it a break of more than seven? Oh, he's going to go for the brown. He's got a break of 11, me one. When it matters, suddenly me one, who was the weaker player, I think. Can he get make it up to 12? No, he cannot. But a beautiful break of uh, 11. Takes me one to 19 points ahead, me two. We'll be ruining the 21 points he's given away as he tries to double that. Well, he might have got a snooker. Me one. No, me one can see that. Oh, nearly goes in off. He might have got a snooker. He's trying for a snooker. It's pretty good snooker. Me too. Oh, he's missed. Oh, no. Oh, nearly hit the black. He's going to have to play it again. So it's four points. And he gets it the second time. Me one. Now very much in the ascendant. Oh, misses an easy shot there. Is he going to go in off? He is not. Me too. Come on, me too. The world is behind you all the way. Oh, what was that? That was a poor shot from me too. I think he was going for the centre pocket. Me one. Oh, me one nearly misses, but it just catches it on the rebound. Me too. Difficult bridge. Doesn't. Oh, me too, you fucking wally. You big wally. Me one. Pots are red. He could go for the easy yellow, a slightly more difficult black. There's more points in the black. He's messed it up though. Should have thought. So me one. Now he's got a few points in his own right. Me two. The colours will decide it all. He's trying for a snooker. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Me one. Oh, that's so far away. Me one. <laughs> Pots the brown. <laughs> He's not made to play it again for some reason. Me too. 20 points behind me one now. Me too could pot this. He has done. Oh, me too could clear from here. This could easily be a clearance for the entire green board. No, he slightly pulled that one. So me too. Calculating, calculating, me one 37, me too 19. Looks like me one's night, doesn't it? Oh, he didn't even go down to look at that one. He didn't even form a proper bridge. Just cracked it, it cracked it off. And But he has snooked himself quite badly. Oh, but gets out of it. And that's what makes me one. The person I see for up to 40 points now, playing 19, 22 on the old table. Me too. He's trying for another snooker. He might even pop that brown. Oh, he's potted the brown in the most amazing fashion. <laughs> Nearly goes in off. Oh, but he's left. Me too. He's now up to 23. 18 on the table. Me one. Doesn't go down for it. He plays it cocky again and misses this time. Me too. Can he come back? He can't get the blue in. Me one. Oh, me one's gone in off. It's an amazing scene here. What an incredible thing to happen. Me one not only in off, me two has a chance now. Can he sneak this blue past the pink? If he can, 
then surely the pink can go in next. He sneaked, sneaked the blue past the pink. He sneaked the pink past the nothing into the pocket. He's got to get this black. He's trying to double it. I don't think he's left it on, but it's not too safe. Me too scores 11 points. There's one point in it. And me one, who surely thought he's running away with this, has a fairly easy black. Oh, he's done it, has he? Oh, what thrills, what spills. Me one wins by just eight points. 47 plays 39. It looked like me two was going to take that. Oh, but then me one. He's unstoppable. He's 81 to 80 ahead, having been like 10 frames behind. Absolutely astonishing. I don't, I, you know, you can say what you like about me versus me, Snooker. I'll tell you something, though. Um, you know, it's good. Good sport. That's what we've got going on here. Uh, what do you think, commentator too? Yeah, I agree. Back over to Richard in the studio. Well, two weeks, I think, and two of the most exciting frames we've had. I really thought Me Too was going to come back and take that, and kudos to him for attempting that black then and unfortunately setting it up for Me One to come and take the lead, but Me Too must be kicking himself about all those points he gave away. 21, if you take 21 points away from Me One score... Suddenly he's not in the lead anymore. Admittedly, there were some mistakes the other direction, but let's see what Me Too thinks. What are we thinking, Me Too? I'm thinking exactly what you're thinking, Richard, weirdly. I'm thinking about all the points I gave away at the beginning and um, that how different things could have been. It's a weird feeling to be behind. I know a lot of my fans will be watching from hospital beds and I'd just like to say, don't give up hope just because you've seen this happen to don't. You have, what what you have to do is stay alive to see me come back next week and the week after and the week after that and wipe this little cunt's face in the shit. You're talking about me one? Yeah. Okay, that's right then. I thought you meant me. No, I meant me one. That's who I'm playing at snooker in it. So why, why would I talk about you? just thought it was me. Uh, me one is taking over the seat now. Let's have a look. Let's see <sighs> what else is going on. Yeah, it's good. I won. And, you know, bit of a rub of the green for me, too. And a lot of that, a lot of balls going in when they, uh, well, to be fair, a lot of the balls going in that, in your favour. Yeah, with that brown you got, was lucky. Um, he played better snooker. I mean, no, last week you played better snooker and you drew. This week he played better snooker, apart from all the mistakes he made. And he lost. So, you know. Don't be partisan. You know, I you, you must remain... Uh, unbiased. Do you think we should go to sleep now? I think it would be a good idea. I've, yeah, I nearly fell asleep on my son's bed when I was putting him into to bed tonight. I mean, I think I might have done a little bit. Um, uh, just say uh, Nessa K nineteen eighty one says, uh, "Congrats, me one. May I be your groupie?" Uh, thank you, uh, Nessa. I'm a happily married man. Uh, I would suggest you try me too. Uh, but if you're born in 1981 and are 42 years old, then you're probably a little bit old for for him, I'd say. Hey, Me Too isn't here to defend himself against accusations like that. So uh, he is. He's just over there. Well, you know. Um, it's a terrible world we live in, isn't it? It's an awful world. But, you know, thankfully the world is self-playing snooker apart from the sexual harassment of Me 7. Is it Me? No. No, I'm moving. Me seven, isn't that the Irish me? I don't know. Me, you mean? I mean, me eleven. You, we've got the list here somewhere. Let's see. You just said was being sexually harassed. Me seven, Irish me. Is he being sexually harassed? He might be. We don't know. Me eleven, you meant? Yeah, and and referee three. Yeah, they both get sexually harassed. But apart from that, it's you know our, our world is clean and clear. And when you think how many me's there are, that's not still not bad. There's only two who are in trouble. And I and Irish meat, no. All right. Um someone wants to see the score notebook. There it is. It's um I got it in Thailand. There's some Thai ladies dancing, it looks like. Uh someone's got a little bowl of something. I think that's a child. They're eating food. 
and uh, yeah, it's falling apart a bit, but it goes all the way back. This one day, this will be in a museum. First frame, me and wrote it much more neatly. Then look, look how neat it was, even though it's falling out and it's falling apart. Me one sixty one, me two sixty nine, me two wins by eight points. Me one got a break of thirteen in two balls, and me two got nine in three balls. It was an impressive break today. It's eleven or something, wasn't it? So that's good. Um, Nessa, it was worth a try. Yeah, it's always worth a try with men. Many of them will do whatever you want because they are hypnotised by the feminine mystique. But then, you know, gay me would not be interested. And uh, old, all the old me's, which is all of us, are uh, a little bit beyond any of that. Anyway. Oh, you're the ladies coming for a see older shot gig. Um, do I want any Canadian goodies? I do, yeah, boobies, boobies. That's what. That's the thing with the Rushton. That's what you've got. Um, I do, well, I, we're all on a very strict diet at the moment, uh, Nessa. So uh, thank you for the offer. But um, I think all Canadian goodies are made of sugar. So uh, I'll, have, I'll have a maple leaf, please, to eat. That's probably okay. I'll check my diet. Um, but uh, look at me. Look at let's do that. I've lost seven kilos in like seven weeks. Look at look at me on Rahulas to put Rahulas to put, and then look at me now. Um, do come see the tour. Thank you for coming. Some people are coming from Canada to see gigs in Aldershot, and yet some people in Aldershot aren't coming to Aldershot. So it's selling okay, that one, but it's a big venue, so there's still plenty of room. You can see Lee Mack and Adam Bloom at that one. We've got some fantastic lineups in London coming up. We're going to, if you're a Badger or a Plusser, you know some of them already. I mean, I feel like I could probably say it on here without, without too much uh, of a problem, but um, I'm going to. Because this will go out to more the other. There's only 88 people here, and one of them, at least one of them, is in Canada. Uh, Bill Bailey is going to be on at the Les Square Theatre on the 22nd of January. Um, John Ronson's joining Ross Noble on the November the 13th. I want to say it might not be, or it might be 16th, but it's the, the second one in November. Jay Wilkinson's the other November gig. Tim Key and Davina McCall selling fast, and. Um, yeah, and we've got, uh, we've got various people coming up as well. Uh, Beck Hill in uh, Tunbridge Wells joining Robert Bathurst uh, there. I think there's some tickets left for Tunbridge Wells. Might need to just check that website to find out. Um, it'd be lovely to see some more people there. And Steve Pemberton and Lou Sanders uh, in the first one in London as well. We're in Newcastle at the weekend. Still tickets for both those shows, one with Lauren Pattinson, one with Jason Cook. Um, but I'm not here to tell you about Rehellis, but I'm here to... I'm waiting to hear... You're waiting to hear about Nottingham PS Twitch, you know, buy tickets. Oh, you have booked tickets. I don't know who... I haven't started looking at Nottingham. I'm going to finish off all the uh, October ones, and then I'll look at November. I think it's in November, that one. Um, yeah, we'll find some... We'll, find, we'll get some good best guests for you in all these places. Right. I think it's time to go. Let's see how York City are getting on, and... Uh, from me and all the me's. Go fuck yourself. I'll try and remember to turn the streaming off tonight. I love you all. I'm quite tired. But it's all been... It's been a lovely time talking to you. I'll go and see if my daughter's asleep now. Bye-bye.